So the aorta abdominalis gives off the arteria iliaca externa on both sides. So you have the arteria circumflexa ilium profunda, which fits into the ramus cranialis. So the ramus cranialis and ramus caudalis. The main divisions of the arteria iliaca externa are the arteria profunda femoris, which runs more medially. Oh, right, yeah. And then the arteria femoralis. So you have the arteria profunda femoris, which has the truncus pudendo epigastricus. Um, and the arteria, um, and also the arteria pudenda externa. And then you have the arteria circumflexa femoris medialis. The circumflexa femoris medialis. Yeah. You just said that was profunda, though. No, this is this, this whole thing is profunda here. Thing is okay. Profunda. And then this is circumflexa. Um, it, femoris, femoris medialis, medialis, which gives off ramus over to tutorius. This one, because you can fill the foramen of turretum there. And then the arteria femoralis. It has the arteria um, circumflexa femoris lateralis. Mm -hmm. The little one. Arteria femoris cranialis. Thicker one. Arteria saphina. This one. Arteria genus descendens. This one? No, this one, sorry. Arteria femoris caudalis. Underneath. And arteria popliteae. This one. And it also has arteria nutrita femoris, but we can't see it that it's deeper. Cool. So the aorta abdominalis has arteria iliaca interna. So from this you have arteria umbilicus. And then you can see arteria vesicalis cranialis, which is for the urinary bladder. You have arteria iliolumbaris. Then you have arteria glutea cranialis. And then arteria glutea caudalis, which is deep. And finally, you have arteria pudenda interna.